Cuomo Anthony claims that in November, Lisa Marie tried to take over Michael's career. She says Lisa Marie demanded that Michael dump his management team. She thought all of these people were leading him in the wrong direction. And uh, she said, if you don't get rid of them, I'm going to leave. Lisa Marie pressed this issue when Michael was hospitalized last month in New York. When his staffers gave her only five minutes to see her ailing husband, she bolted from the marriage. He did just collapse, and he's totally dehydrated and half dead. He needs some rest. She got through a, a rich girl's temper tantrum and, you know, filed for divorce. But Michael's soon-to-be ex-mother-in-law, Priscilla Presley, is delighted with the divorce. I'm sure Priscilla Presley is a happy camper. She got what she wanted. Uh, the marriage is broken up. Her meddling worked. And how is Michael doing? He's being consoled by family and friends. Michael Jackson, I think, in the last two years, has proved that he's one of the strongest men walking around today. You know, people wrote him off. People said he would commit suicide. He'd never come back. He keeps going. Speculation about why Lisa Marie beat Michael to divorce court is running rampant. One theory involves money. Apparently, Lisa Marie may receive the balance of her trust fund, millions and millions of dollars, from the estate on her birthday in two weeks. Attorneys may have advised her to dump Michael before the cash comes in. Terry? Thanks, Jody.